What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be discussing MDT Hell's Gate. Yes, the next MDT pay-per-view. We've done a few videos on this, I think, already. I think we talked about, you know, the announcement of the pay-per-view. But today we're going to talk about, you know, the card, how the card's going to flesh out, you know, what my predictions are for it, what I think is going to happen, what I think is going to be taking place over the next few weeks of Vindication and MDT Live leading up to MDT Hell's Gate. Um, coming out of the Royal Rumble, I mean, we had a ton of stuff happen. You know, we had a lot of storylines progress. We had a lot of great things happening and going into Vindication episode 13 we had even more things happening after that show and if you guys have missed Vindication episode 13 definitely go check that out before you watch today's video on Hell's Gate but let's talk about this this MDT Hell's Gate card first of all we are on the road to My Damn Nation obviously that is our big Wrestlemania like show it's going to be totally epic going to have a massive stage going to have massive just entrances and over the top great card everything in between you guys know how we do and I plan on you know taking everything we do with the pick fed I know step forward with My Damn Nation. But on the way to My Damn Nation, guys, the only way to get to My Damn Nation is through Hell's Gate, right? You gotta go through the gates of Hell to get there. And that is with two Elimination Chamber matches. Yes, there will be two Elimination Chamber matches and one will be for the MDT Championship and the other will be for the Elite Championship. Kenny Omega will step inside the chamber, defend the Elite Championship and see if he can take that hoe to WrestleMania and we'll see who the hell he faces. I mean, who, who the hell knows at this point. And then we have on MDT Live side of things we have the brand new champion Roman Reigns. I guess it was a bad time for the man to become champion because as soon as he wins the title, he has to go defend that thing inside the Elimination Chamber. And today, we're just going to talk about the matches that are going to be on that card, you know, what I expect to flesh out here over the next few weeks leading up to that show. And so, I guess we can start off with the Elite Championship and Kenny Omega. You guys know there will be six entrants. We're going to have six entrants in this thing. And after the Royal Rumble, you know, we had a lot of guys sort of come to prominence. You guys know on episode 13 of Vindication, we had a new debut on Vindication, the Goat Man from the Wyatt Colt was revealed to be Alistair Black, so Vindication has faded to black here. And so Alistair Black, you know, he totally took out Kenny Omega. He hit him with that black mask, taking him out. I mean, he took out Cole, and he was just, the, him and the Wyatt Colt were running rapid on the Bullet Club, just beating the hell out of him in the ring there at the end of the show. Kenny Omega confronting Adam Cole, you know, trying to get some answers out of him, what the hell's going on around Vindication, you know, all the crazy stuff happening. And so the Wyatt Colt totally imploded on the Bullet Club. You know, Bray Wyatt's another strong contender. He had a good, uh, he had a great showing in the Royal Rumble. He also, you know, was eliminated by Kenny Omega, so, you know, he's after the GM there and the elite champion so I'm sure that the Wyatt Colt are going to do their best to get as many members as they can into that uh, into that elite championship elimination chamber matchup and so the rest of it is totally up in the air you know I know Adam Cole is going to be pissed off at the Bullet Club you know they beat the hell out of him even prior to that going into the Royal Rumble they were they were or Adam Cole was pissed off at the Bullet Club so after the Royal Rumble getting his ass kicked again by the Bullet Club and Kenny Omega and, and the Wyatt Colt so that man's out for business for himself and then you, you have AJ Styles, who was also jumped from behind at the Rumble by Kenny Omega. So Kenny Omega not making any friends here coming into the Rumble or going into Elimination Chamber. I mean, he's made a lot of enemies for himself. Everybody hates his guts. Everybody hates him as champion. I mean, they, they hate this man. So Kenny Omega has definitely turned himself into into a big time enemy. He's got a massive target on his back. So, I mean, you got Bray Wyatt, you got Aleister Black, you got AJ Styles, not to mention Adam Cole, and you also have uh, the returning Shinsuke Nakamura. Returning Shinsuke Nakamura is also pretty pissed off, and you know, we've had new debuts like uh, Matt Hardy and, and Pete Gunn and uh, the Wyatt Colt are looking strong. They're vying for the MDT Tag Team Championships, which we'll get into. So, Kenny Omega not making any friends, guys. It's going to be really cool to see how the how the Elimination Chamber fleshes out and, and see if Kenny Omega is going to have any help in that chamber, if maybe he can somehow try to pull some strings and get some Bullet Club members in there to help him out. But let's move on to the MDT Live Chamber matchup, and the new Champion Roman Reigns. We covered this, guys. He won the tri he won that triple threat match at the Royal Rumble. Defeated CM Punk. Defeated John Cena, and he is uh, your new MDT Champion, third one ever in the history of the company. And he, I know for a fact, definitely has a target on his back. I mean, he's he's been running around ever since forming the Bloodline. He's definitely made a lot of enemies as well, just like Kenny Omega. I don't think the list is quite as long as Kenny Omega's, but uh, Roman Reigns has definitely earned his share of booze here coming into this matchup, defeating John Cena, knocking him off his throne. John Cena not being pinned in that matchup. I'm sure John Cena is going to want to try to get in that Elimination Chamber matchup. Who knows what's next for John Cena. CM Punk, another guy who, you know, has just been treading water. He beat AJ Styles. It sold out, and now he is, you know, he thought that he was going to win the big one. He ended up falling short here against two powerhouse names like Roman Reigns and John Cena, so he's definitely going to try to be vying for it. Will both of those guys be in the chamber? Who knows? You know, we haven't seen MDT Live this week, so, um, uh, 
which should be out, you know, in the, within this week or so. And that's what I'm trying to get out. But, you know, we'll see what happens with them. I mean, I think MDT Lives is definitely up in the air. You know, there's a lot of things that could happen. There's a lot of different talent that had great Royal Rumble uh, uh performances. You had Jeff Hardy have a great performance. The debut of Cedric Alexander and Velveteen Dream both had pretty strong performances. Dolph Ziggler looked pretty good in the Rumble. So there's a lot of people that are trying to vie for spots in that Royal Rumble or in that Elimination Chamber matchup as well for the MDT Championship. Dolph Ziggler can never get it. You know, he's been so close so many times. Jeff Hardy's in that same boat, both in the money in the bank, both coming up short. And so those guys are definitely going to be vying for that spot. So I definitely fully expect uh, the MDT Live Chamber to probably be a little bit more unpredictable as far as who's going to get those spots, but I guess we're going to have to find out. Obviously, Seth Rollins won the Royal Rumble. He's not going to be a part of that uh, of any either chamber match because he, I mean he doesn't have to. He won the Royal Rumble, right? He's already punched his ticket. So we'll have to see what uh, who he chooses because he does have the opportunity to choose Kenny Omega or Roman Reigns. So I guess we'll probably find out on the next MDT Live episode number thirteen. Moving on to the tag team divisions, guys. We do have two tag team championship matches at Hell's Gate, and I guess we can start off with Vindication side since we did the same thing with the chamber matches going into Hell's Gate. The MDT tag titles will be on the line, and we've, we've already found our number one contender, right? It is down to two different people, or two different teams, I should say. You have the Fashion Police, who upset the uh, American Alpha in the first round of the number one contender tournament for the MDT Tag Team Championships over on Vindication Episode 13, and then the Wyatt Colt defeated Rusev Day, and so they are going to uh, they are going to have a matchup this next, uh, on Episode 14, they're going to have a matchup. Who knows what could happen? I know the Wyatt Colt are definitely the favorites. You know, they looked very strong against Rusev Day. They dominated that matchup. They put them away. And Fashion Police, I mean, they, you know, they were investigating the Wyatt Colt. They were trying to crack the code. They couldn't crack the code. They couldn't figure out what the hell they're up to. And so I'm sure the Wyatt Colt want to take out some of that anger on them for, you know, getting in their business and meddling in their business and investigating them. So I'm sure that'll come full circle here in the finals of this number one contendership tournament. You know, uh, I'm sure Bullet Club's going to have some some words for both of those teams, especially the Wyatt Colt. You know, they're they're going to probably be around the around the scene there. So. I think that we're, we're in for a very nice, exciting finals to that number one contendership tournament between them. So it's going to be the Young Bucks versus either the Wyatt Colt and Fashion Police. Whichever team ends up getting it, I think it'll be an entertaining matchup nonetheless. You know, the, the Young Bucks had pretty solid Royal Rumble performances, so that'll be really fun to see. And then on MDT Live side of things, we have the World Tag Team titles between the Usos and whoever the hell is going to step up. You know, we haven't seen MDK, uh, MDT Live episode number 13, so we don't know exactly who the hell is going to step up. I mean, in the tag team division, who do you have? You have the you have the Dudley Boys, you have the New Day, you have the new team of Zack Ryder and MVP, you have Rated RKO. I mean, and a lot of those teams are heels, so I mean, you have the Usos, MVP, and Zack Ryder, and Rated RKO are all heels, so who knows what the hell is going to take place there. Maybe a new team shows up, I don't know, maybe we'll have a new debut, maybe we'll have a tag team show up and be like, yo, bro, those are my tag titles, I want to fight, I want to fight the Usos. So that could also happen. Who knows what the hell could happen. Show after the Royal Rumble. Anything is possible, as you saw with Vindication Episode 13, Aleister Black coming out there. So I don't know what the hell could happen there, but the Usos definitely need to find some number one contenders just like Young Bucks. And I guess if they can't find number one contenders on MDT Live, maybe they'll have an open challenge at Hell's Gate. So I guess we'll have to see about that one. Moving on to other matches, the rest of the card, guys. I mean, we have the Iron Man title. We have the United States Championship on MD MDT Live. We have the Extreme Championship, and we have the Revolutionary Championship. And I'm not sure which ones are going to be defended. You know, we haven't seen, we didn't really see anything take place with the Iron Man and Revolutionary Championships. You know, both Marty and Cody were jumped by the Wyatt Colt. I don't know. It seems that they're focused just on taking out the club as a whole. So I'm not sure if maybe Sheamus or, or I don't know. I know Big Cass was big booting the hell out of Marty Skrull. And Cody Rhodes got attacked by Sheamus. And I, I'm not sure what, what's going on there. But as far as the MDT Live side of thing goes, we have the brand new U.S. champion Jack Swagger, who is probably going to be looking for somebody to take off his title. There's some good mid-card talent on, on MDT Live that's going to be vying for that title. You also have the Extreme Championship with Kevin Owens, and we know, guys, that Kevin Owens took out John Morrison. He took out Bobby Lashley and Noe Jose. All three of those men got the absolute shit beat out of them, and so I don't think they're going to be, you know, I, I, I don't know when the hell we'll see those guys. I mean, they got, they got the crap beat out of them. They were beat down to hell, and so I'm not sure, you know, what the hell is going to go on with the Extreme Championship, but Kevin Owens, I'm sure, is beat up himself. Who even knows if we're going to see him on this next episode of MDT Live, episode 13, because, you know, he, he, he's he got to be bruised and battered and beat the hell out of after, you know, all the damage that he took, after all the damage he, you know, dealt out, so that's going to be cool as well, but 
you know, whatever happens, the extreme champion has to always have his head on a swivel. Championship can, uh, can change hands at any moment in time, so you always have to be aware of what the hell's going on. So for the Elite Championship, we, we kind of know what the hell we're talking about with the Elimination Chamber. For the MDT Live side of things, very unpredictable stuff going on right now, so, especially since we haven't seen the Chamber match, especially since we haven't seen Episode 13 of MDT Live just yet, so we'll have to see about that. And then um, for both tag team titles, we know what's going on in Vindication a little bit. MDT Live, same thing. It's sort of hazy, you know. We don't know what the hell's going to go on there. And so the rest of the championship matches are kind of uh, up in the air as well. Very interesting uh, very interesting times going on right now in Vindication and MDT Live leading into Hell's Gate and also on the road to My Damn Nation. My Damn Nation going to be absolutely massive. Like, when I say massive, guys, I mean absolutely massive. I also plan on doing a, a vlog at, after maybe about a week or two after My Damn Nation, I'm going to upload a vlog. It'll probably be 30 to 45 minutes, guys, of me just g going over all the work, like the behind the scenes, the customs, the you know the entrances, all the different stuff that will go into that show, the stage, the the preparation, the arena, all that good stuff. That will definitely be a vlog that I do, and it'll you know probably be a timestamp where I go from you know when I start working. I mean, I've been working on it for years, to be honest with you, already. And I think you guys will be really cool once you see you know all the work that went into it and stuff like that. Um, I think. That'll be a really cool video. I can't wait to, you know, put that together. I haven't really even started filming it because, you know, I'm still trying to get my ideas together. But um, you guys will see all of the background stuff that went into it and everything like that. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I wanted to jump on here talk about Hell's Gate. You know, it was fresh on my mind. Also, that logo at the beginning, you guys saw that Hell's Gate logo. Um, I'm not sure if that's the final logo just yet. I did want to run it by you guys. Do you guys like that logo? I don't know. I may get somebody else to make it. Somebody made that for me. I wasn't completely okay with it. It's not terrible, but I don't know if I really love it that much. But uh, I wanted to get your guys' opinion on it. Please comment down below if you guys enjoyed the logo. I would really appreciate it. But um, also, let me think. Uh, I would love to know your card predictions down below. Who do you think is going to battle? You know, what uh, what kind of feuds you thinking in your head? I would love to know down in the comment section below. Who's going to make the Elite Championship Chamber? Who's going to make the MDT Live Chamber? Who's Who's going to make, you know, the, who do you think is going to win between the Colt and the Fashion Police? Who do you think is going to be the number one contender for the world tag titles? You know, anything like that. I would love to know down in the comment section below. But uh, that is going to do it for today's video. I love getting on here and talking about the pick fed. I really enjoy it. It's probably one of my, it's probably my biggest precious prize here on the channel because, you know, it's, it's unique to the channel and nobody can just come in, carbon copy it and paste it. I appreciate that you guys love it so much, and it really means a lot to me, and it keeps me going. I know that, you know, other other pick fetters like G Natty, like Balor Figs UK, uh, Cody, Harrison, W3A, AWF, all those different guys, I really enjoy their feds, and um, I, I just, uh, they really inspire me, and they keep me going, and you guys really keep me going when you give me feedback, and you talk about the fed, and you get excited about it. I really enjoy that. That's probably my favorite part, and I just love it so much, and you guys keep me going with it, and without you guys, this fed would not exist, because I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do it if you guys didn't keep me going and you know stay keep me motivated and enjoy the show so much and give me the feedback that you do there's no way that I could keep doing this but you guys make it worth it and I appreciate it so very much but I hope you guys did enjoy I would love to know all of your card predictions down in the comment section below but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter my name toys comment down below your match card predictions for MDT Hell's Gate and I will see you guys in the next video thank you